Many different religious miracle stories that defy the laws of nature and logic have been passed down through generations, with billions of believers seeing them as sacred affirmations of the divine power at work in our world. So let's explore some of the most popular ones, and then you can let us know in the comments if these miracles seem legit to you or if you think they're just fanciful stories. Parting of the Red Sea According to the biblical book of Exodus, when the Israelites were fleeing Egypt, they came upon the Red Sea with Pharaoh's army in hot pursuit. Moses raised his staff, and miraculously, the waters parted, making a path for the Israelites to cross. But when the Egyptian army tried to follow, the waters came crashing back down, drowning Pharaoh's troops. Immaculate Conception of Jesus According to belief, Mary miraculously conceived Jesus while remaining a virgin through the power of the Holy Spirit. No human father was involved. It was a divine miracle. Christians see this as fulfilling prophecies about the coming Messiah being born of a virgin. It's considered the first of Jesus' miracles even before his birth. Resurrection from the dead on Easter Sunday. According to the New Testament Gospels, after being brutally crucified, Jesus was buried in a tomb. But on the third day, the stone was rolled away and the tomb was empty, except for his burial cloths. Jesus then appeared to his disciples, showing his wounds as proof that he had risen, conquering death itself through divine power. Miracle of the Sun at Fatima from 1917 Portugal. On October 13th of that year, thousands of people had gathered after three shepherd children reported visions of the Virgin Mary. During the final apparition, witnesses claimed the sun appeared to zigzag across the sky, spin, and radiate brilliant colors for about 10 minutes before appearing to plunge toward the earth, leaving the crowd in terrified awe. For Catholics, this supernatural event affirmed the children's visions and the divine origins of the Fatima apparitions. Milk Miracle of Lord Krishna According to legend that spread across India, when a priest offered a bowl of milk to a sacred statue of the baby Krishna, the statue miraculously started drinking the milk. Soon reports emerged of the same thing happening at other temples. Videos even show the milk in the bowl level mysteriously dropping as the idol seemed to drink it. Lourdes Miracles from Catholic Tradition In 1858, a 14-year-old French peasant girl named Bernadette Soubereau claimed to have had visions of the Virgin Mary in a grotto near the town of Lourdes. Bernadette was instructed to dig in the ground, which caused a spring to emerge. Soon after, people started drinking and bathing in these waters, with reports of miraculous healings from all kinds of illnesses and injuries. Splitting of the Moon According to Islamic tradition, one night the pagan leaders of Mecca demanded that Prophet Muhammad perform a miracle to prove his prophethood. In response, the moon was split into two separate halves, which moved apart and then formed back together. Ganga Avatar or Descent of the Ganges According to the epic mythology, the sacred river Ganges originally flowed in the heavens. When sages asked that her purifying waters be brought to earth, the mighty river started rushing down with such force that it threatened to shatter the earth. That's when the great Lord Shiva caught the Ganges in his locks, releasing it in separate streams to soften the impact. The Marian Apparitions of Our Lady of Guadalupe According to Mexican Catholic tradition, the Virgin Mary appeared multiple times to a peasant named Juan Diego, on a hill outside Mexico City. During one vision, Mary instructed him to have a church built on that site. When Juan Diego reported this request to the Spanish Archbishop, he was told to bring proof. So, Mary miraculously imprinted an image of herself on Juan's tilma or cloak when he gathered roses in his tilma from the hill, the feeding of the multitude with five loaves. According to the Gospels, Jesus was preaching to crowds of thousands who had followed him into remote areas. As evening fell, the disciples urged Jesus to disperse the crowd before they grew hungry. But Jesus took the meager provisions of five loaves of bread and two fish brought by a young boy. After giving thanks, Jesus miraculously multiplied the loaves and fishes to produce enough food for the entire crowd of 5,000 plus people, with leftovers filling 12 baskets. Jesus walking on water. The story goes that after miraculously feeding thousands with just a few loaves and fishes, Jesus sent his disciples ahead of him in a boat while he went to pray alone up a mountain. In the middle of the night, a storm kicked up on the sea with violent winds. That's when the horrified disciples saw Jesus' walking across the water towards them. They thought he was a ghost and started screaming in terror. But Jesus called out, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Ever the bold one, Peter replied, Lord, if it's really you, command me to come to you on the water. When Jesus said come, Peter actually got out of the boat and started walking on the water towards Jesus. But then he got scared by the winds, started sinking, and cried out for Jesus to save him. Jesus did so, 
scolding Peter for his little faith before they got back in the boat, healing at the pool of Bethesda. The story goes that there was a pool in Jerusalem where sick, blind, and disabled people would gather, awaiting an apparent miraculous disturbance of the waters that would allow the first person in to be healed. Jesus encountered a man there who had been paralyzed for 38 years waiting for his miracle. With some signature sass, Jesus was like, do you want to be healed? And bam, he commanded the man to get up and walk, which he did immediately after decades of paralysis. Miracle of the Quails According to the Quran and Islamic tradition, when the Israelites were wandering in the desert under Moses' leadership, they grew hungry and thirsty, complaining they only had bland, tasteless food. So Allah responded by miraculously sending down an abundance of quail birds as well as water gushing from rocks. Resurrection of Lazarus According to the Gospel of John, Lazarus was one of Jesus' closest friends. When Lazarus fell deathly ill, his sisters Mary and Martha urgently called for Jesus to come heal him. But by the time Jesus arrived in their town of Bethany, Lazarus had already died and been entombed for four days. Martha chided Jesus, saying, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But watch this. Jesus approached the tomb, had them roll away the heavy stone covering it, and shouted, Lazarus, come out! And just like that, Lazarus emerged from the tomb, undisputedly resurrected after being dead for days. The Burning Bush According to the account, Moses was tending his father-in-law's flocks in the desert when he noticed a bush that appeared to be on fire but was not burning up. As he approached, a voice called out, Moses, Moses, identifying itself as the god of his ancestors. The voice told Moses to remove his sandals since he was standing on holy ground and then commissioned him to liberate the Israelites from slavery in Egypt.